Launched in 1999, the European single currency, the Euro, is today at a crossroads, a hot topic here at the NZZ Capital Market Forum. And joining us now to speak about the situation and the path ahead is Pierre Carlo Paduan, Deputy Secretary General and Chief Economist at the OECD. Pierre, what's your current uh, assessment of the overall situation in the Eurozone? The Eurozone is in bad shape. It's probably uh, growing negative again this and next year and still has to solve its fundamental problems of governance and adjustment. And what about in your home country, Italy? What's the situation there? Italy is undergoing a major reform progress program and uh, financial stabilization. This will yield benefits in the medium term. In the short term there are more pains though. So what do you think the a resolution of the crisis will come down to in the end? It will come down to a stronger euro, with stronger institutions and more cohesion, as well as better distribution of costs and benefits. And as an economist, you obviously know this remedy for the crisis, so why aren't the policymakers applying it? Well, because there is so-called collective action problems. The issue is that everybody should do their part, their, their homework, and no one should free ride, hoping to get away with the deal. Because if that happens, everything breaks down. And what will happen in other parts of the world if Europe fails to contain the damage? Well, the rest of the world is already feeling a pain coming from uh, lack of growth and lack of confidence in the euro area. This means the United States, but also large emerging economies. So it's in the global interest to have a strong euro. Nearly half of the countries in the OECD are made up of eurozone countries. Does this dominate a lot of the OECD discussions? This dominates a lot of discussion in the OECD and everywhere else, everywhere you go. The euro is the most uh, problematic area for the global economy, so everyone discusses about it. Finally then, we're in Switzerland right now for this forum. Is the attitude to the eurozone different here compared with other places in Europe? Well, I was refreshed by the fact that the discussion about the financial crisis is of course ongoing and the future of the financial system is seen with concern, but not with the drama that we see elsewhere. Thanks a lot, Pierre. Thank you.